child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away, and he was talking for I knew it. And as he grew, he'd say, "I'm gonna be like you, Dad. You know I'm gonna be like you." And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then. You know we'll have a good time then. My son turned ten just the other day. He said, "Thanks for the ball, Dad. Come on." I said I'm not today. I got a lot to do. He said that's okay, and then he walked away. But his smile never dimmed. It said I'm gonna be like him. Yeah, you know I'm gonna be like him. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. The little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then. You know we'll have a good time then. Cheese. I'm just doing what you taught me with you being a cook and all. Yeah. Well, I may I may be good, but uh, I know you'd be better. I think this calls for a celebration, you know. I think you get to choose a recipe out of the recipe book. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, why don't we look at the cookbook, shall we? Oh, it's good. Oof. What you got there is an old family recipe. You sure you can take it? Why not? It's just pizza. It's not just pizza miles. It's a sacred recipe. It One doesn't simply just make it. What? It's literally written down right here. Yes, it is, but it can take months, years, even decades. I was lucky to learn it at such a young age. But why is it so hard? Like, you've been teaching me how to cook for so long. That may be true, but there are multiple steps to making a pie such as this. Everything <laughs> must be perfect. Dad, really? You're never this passionate about anything else we make. Do you really care this much? Yes! This takes time and dedication. Do you have the skills to take it on? I, I mean, I think so. It's just pizza. It's not just pizza, Miles. It's a bloodline. A recipe passed down. Do you, do you get it? Yeah. Okay. Start in the morning. Make sure you get some sleep. Okay. This uh, book for you. On what? A book on pizza. Yep. You have to learn the history of this recipe in order to make it properly. But you haven't made me do history reports on any of the other dishes you've taught me. So why this one? I just thought it was going to be a bonding experience. This isn't like any other recipe I've taught you. This is the family recipe. You must treat it with the utmost respect. But you haven't made me do anything like There are four steps to making this dish. One of them being learning the history, okay? Hence, the book. You need to finish reading the book before we can even start making the dough. Why can't we just make the dough now? Because every single thing is important. Every step, every moment. 
Okay, everything is important. Now make some breakfast and read the book. I got homework to do. It can wait. If you want to make this, you need to put your everything into it. Understood? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I finished the book. Show me. Where was the first pizza made? In Naples, Italy. When was it made? Uh, just after World War II. Wrong. It was popularized just after World War II, but it was made in the 17th century. What was pizza initially classified as? Um, a flatbread recipe. Who was it sold to and why was it so popular? It was sold to everybody and it was popular because of its cheap price, but what does this have to do with anything? I told you, the history is just as important as all the other ingredients. You need to know all of it. I really don't. Why can't you just quiz me while we make it? Fine. If that's how you want to do it. Oh, thank God. So what now? Get your ingredients. What are they? Well, we're just making the dough. So to start, get flour, salt, sugar, your measuring cups, yeast, a bowl, and a small spatula. Grab your bowl, put one three-fourths cups of flour in it. Take your salt and put one half teaspoon into the bowl with the flour. Get three-fourths cup of hot water. Not hot enough. Take one teaspoon of yeast and pour it into your cup, then mix one and fourth teaspoon of sugar into the yeast and water. Mix it and let it sit until it foams up. Once you're done, mix the water with the dough slowly, then start kneading the dough. Not good enough. Try again. 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 Not good enough. Again. Good. Put it into a bowl with olive oil and let it rise. So, Miles, it's time for the sauce now. But before we start making it, I got a couple questions to ask you. When were tomatoes first brought to Italy? Please, can we just make the food? No, it was 1544. Europeans didn't like tomatoes because they thought they were poisonous. But in Italy, they were praised tomatoes and called them the golden apple. How long ago did it take them to start using tomatoes in published recipes? Like, a century. I don't know. Actually, yes, but these answers should be immediate. Do you need to read the book again? No, I've got it. I just don't have it immediately on my head. So you need to read some more then? I just want to make this stupid sauce, okay? Can we just get to the stupid recipe? Don't get mad at me. You were the one who wanted to do this recipe. I don't need this kind of disrespect. I'm sorry. Can we just make the sauce? Yes. But I'm quizzing you later. Okay. Whatever. Here. You need tomato sauce, tomato paste, salt, basil, Italian seasoning, garlic, olive oil, and a bowl with a garlic crusher. You think you can handle putting it all together? Well, I don't want to mess it up, so...
Fine. Tomato sauce and tomato paste. Put them in. Put a punch of salt with that. Crush the garlic into it. Take like four cloves. Put an even amount of basil and seasoning. Put a teaspoon of olive oil. It's good enough. You wanna check your dough? Okay. That, that's good. Uh, you just wanna spread it out now. Then how do you want me to do this, huh? You've never been like this with any of the other things you've taught me to cook. All of this is so important to you, so I'm doing this for you. I'm trying to get it right. But everything that you're doing, this whole history lesson and pizza book, I can't take it anymore. What you've done is making this an unfun cooking experience. What I can do is useless now because of how stuck up you are with this dumb history lesson on pizza. I... Come on! It's just pizza! Lord forbid I make a couple mistakes or slip up on a couple of thingies, but you don't have to be so god... Ugh. The way that you have been treating me, I can't take it anymore. The only reason that I've been cooking and that I've complied to you is so I could be like you, so I could cook like you, so I could be something better than what I am now. And, and you won't even let me do that. Eat, not even... Lord forbid. Pizza? I... It's... The, getting this wrong shouldn't be too much, but you've made it too much. And I can't take it. I just can't. Not anymore. Hey, you want to see something? Another recipe. Actually, no. This is uh, my recipe. Well, at, at least the dough recipe. I, I, I got it from that website. Yeah, it, it isn't some great big family recipe. I. I made it when I was your age. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually I actually got the sauce recipe more recently from a YouTube video. I, I thought that um, if I made it, it seemed like some great big honor that maybe it'd be, you'd be fun to make, you know? And maybe you'd be as interested as I was, but... <sighs> You're right. It, it's, it is just pizza. So, all of that was just BS. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, the history is very, very interesting, actually. Mm. Is it now? Yes. Um, 
maybe I can teach you it if you want to do it again. Together, this time. Not some Gordon Ramsay crap. When the lights come on, take the alley There's no driving drunk in the valley Sweetheart, no I'll be back around in a few years Try some other town, sink a few beers Sweetheart, no I'm the father of the year Everything I've said has been bullshit Went and settled down with some new kids Sweetheart, no Shrug it off and make sure your chin's up On a street with dimes in your tin cup Sweetheart, no I'm the father of the year uh, I'm sorry about the entirety of yesterday, by the way. I kind of went a little overboard with everything. I, I promise to be better from here on out. I understand. It still, it was extreme for pizza. Oh, please. How about we try this and then if it's good, will you forgive me? Maybe. Wanna get subs? Yeah, that sounds so much better. A child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away And he was talking for I knew it And as he grew, he'd say I'm gonna be like you, Dad You know I'm gonna be like you And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon Little boy blue and the man on the moon When you're coming home, Dad, I don't Smile never did it said I'm gonna be like him, yeah. You know I'm gonna be like him. <laughs> 